Hi Pisces, welcome to your singles new love reading. This is for the time period of May through July 2023. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Pisces, this is for my singles but my curious onlookers, you are always welcome. So let's see who's coming in for my Pisces out there. This can be reversed energy, of course. If you're cross-watching for a Pisces that you've recently met, uh, this could be their uh, their energy. So let's see. Who is coming in, Pisces, for May, June, July 2023? Pisces next lover. All right, got a bit of a sneak peek there. Who is Pisces next lover, please, spirit? Can you show Pisces who their next lover will be? Okay. The cards are a little hesitant there, I have to say. There's some hesitancy that I'm picking up around this person. Now, how are you going to see them when they come in? How is Pisces going to see this new love? This new lover? How are they going to see this person? How is this person going to see Pisces? So how are they going to see you? And the outcome between the two of you, what is the potential here? All right, Pisces, you ready? We saw the judgment card pop out. We've also got the page of cups, there's that hesitancy, a little shyness, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the queen of swords, all right. Okay. You may be a little bit intimidating to this person. There may be a little bit of an age gap here because I'm getting it, or, or you just have a fierceness around you. I get you being like a like a fierce woman, you know, not not in a negative way. I just, I just mean that by fierce in in terms of uh, attractiveness, knowing your own worth, very confident. As someone who is a, a go-getter, highly ambitious. And this is someone who's approaching you a little tentatively. Mm, yeah, because you're coming across as a boss bitch, I have to say. But not in a negative way at all. You may even be the boss. Some of you have run your own company. Whew. You know, I feel that this is somebody that you know. Someone, this this is somebody coming back into your life, I feel here. Pisces, let, let's see how you'll see them when they first come in. Love is in reverse. Um, I feel for some of you, you're already connected or you are already got your eye on somebody. Some of you are married. Ooh. And uh, this person's around you. And you're thinking, hmm. I know that this person's into me, they're really coming on strong to me, but I'm with someone or there's some reason why you can't be with them. Now it could be a you know, boss and employee as well, this person could work with you and that's a reason why you feel like you can't be with them. How they'll see you, the two of cup, uh, two of pentacles, excuse me, <laughs> two of cups, well yeah, I feel that this person does have uh, the first beginnings of love towards you here, Pisces, they do, but they're going to see you as someone who is already involved, but I think that they know, in, this person's a very intuitive person, male or female, and I think that they're getting an energy from you that you are interested, even though you're with someone now uh, you may be having trouble with a partner or there may be distance between you and a partner perhaps you're even separated presently from a partner physically or emotionally and this person knows uh, that they're, they're kind of getting in there that they're, they're, they're mm, yeah they're, they're kind of sneaking in with these romantic uh, gestures towards you a little hesitant Oh gosh, but then look at this. I feel that this is, is what what this is is somebody else coming in. It could be this this lover that you're already with saying, What's this? Oh guys, what on earth? Oh some of you gosh, some of you may actually be spending a lot of time with this person. Now I don't think that you're you're cheating or that you're actually lovers with this person. Some of you might be. 
but somebody here believes that uh, all they need to come in and and uh, <laughs> and kind of get you away from this person who may be quite a young energy I, I do get a youthful energy around this person and they're very enamored with you Pisces okay let's see yeah it seems like you've got a choice between two here guys oh yeah well I feel like this this other one that you've been with for a while I don't know I, I just get an energy of something's gone stale mm, okay I do get an energy around you, Pisces, of somebody, yeah, it seems like this this new person, they're, they're, they are getting to you, they are getting to you, and I think that you enjoy spending time with them, so let, let's see, Pisces, who is this Pisces next lover, Pisces next lover, spirit, who is this person, yeah, the thing is, I think you're partnered, Guys, it won't be for everyone, of course. But I feel like this, I'm an intuitive reader, guys, and I feel like this person comes in when you are when you already have a partner. And for a lot of you, you did consider this person a life partner, or for some of you, you've actually made a commitment, or even married. And this person is perhaps causing a problem uh, in your relationship. Let, let's see. Uh, what does Pisces need to know about their next lover? Uh, they do have a, a child. Okay, so even though they're, they're coming up as this page of cups, they're old enough to, uh, to have already fathered a child, or they see you as the mother of their children. Oh, gosh, guys. Hmm. Why am I getting this? I'm, I'm getting an energy here of the partner that you're with maybe more like a father or a father figure they may be older than you and you've got someone in that's coming in that's either younger or your age or just slightly younger than you that you may be more romantically attracted to than this this other person gosh but uh, the thing is this this person is coming back in they they want to they want to uh, uh, they want to be back with you you're going to have the choice between these two you've got a choice between two two love partners yes okay Pisces please show me Pisces next lover okay someone's got no fa okay I feel it's this person here that's got no family it could be a Gemini or an air sign um, and there's an energy of possession around them and this other person may already be a father or mother they may already have a child and this this person is a very loving person and I feel that they even they could possibly want more children because I think that they they see you as someone that they could have children with Pisces let's see one more here hmm. and I feel that this is you I feel that you're a business owner here Pisces you own a business and this person's around you that's how you've met them in the course of running this business of yours now this is very specific so if this is not you feel free to check out your other sign placements but let's see the personality characteristics of this person that is coming in Pisces next lover I feel like you've got a choice between two. Oh gosh forgiveness I'm getting forgiveness forgiveness you know This is a really unusual reading because I'm getting all kinds of messages that, that go against the actual cards that are coming out. I have to go with, with what I'm being given here by spirit, guys, rather than what's on the cards. I feel that for a lot of you, 
you were with this father figure to go through some healing. I get healing, family trauma, and I feel now you've matured, you've gotten older, you're feeling a lot better and you and you now and you're now looking at your life in a different way and I don't feel that you want or, or you feel you, you may have felt like you needed this this person in the past this father figure type person an older person a mentor someone to guide you but now it seems like you're coming into your own here Pisces male or female you're attracting a lot of attention because you're you're, you're a boss bitch and this this person wants still still wants to be with you, but I feel like you've got um, you've got someone new here that uh, that you're interested in. So you've got a choice between this this life partner that you may have previously chosen and somebody else. And I feel that you you may be separated from this this partner of yours and and have something with this this new person go down that road at least for a time uh, okay all right some of you will, will have a lot of siblings i'm also getting that and you had to kind of be the one you had to um like if your father may have had um uh, may have remarried you know may have divorced your mother and remarried and had more children like another family okay i'm getting like blended family you grew up in a blended family i don't know look i don't know where i'm getting all this from seems like you've grown up in this blended family and there was a lot of yeah i feel like you had to you had to be the one here there's almost like a surrogate mother uh, to these younger children or surrogate father to these younger children and this this life partner of yours saw you as someone who could be that but I don't think that you you want to be that I think that you want to be a business owner you want to be you, you focused on um, making your mark in the in the business world so it seems like you're at cross purposes I feel that this person saw you, this life partner saw you as someone who wanted a family, uh, who could be the mother to their children. They saw you with your siblings, saw how you were with them, saw how good you are with them. But I think your life is going off in a different direction. Pisces won't be for everyone, of course. and, and uh, and, and now you have this choice. Now, let's see. Any other personality characteristics of this person that's coming in for Pisces? Poet. Now, they may be, they may write poetry. Or they're just very good with their words. I feel like they're going to come in here with some kind of um, song or, or, or poetry uh, to, to try to win you back or to, to keep you in the fold here. I'm also getting this new person here with all of this romanticism around them and this this I feel that this the older person is trying to, to bring the romanticism back into this connection because that's what you're missing um, this newer person is bringing that to you so they are trying this older person is trying this this life partner is trying to bring that back to you Hmm, okay. Guys, I don't know why this is coming up in your reading. Let's see, what are the physical characteristics of this person? Now, some of this, uh, well, it could be either one of these people, to be honest. Some of it could be you as well here, Pisces. Pisces next lover. What do they look like? Uh, someone has a tattoo. Now that could be you. I think some of you may may have a tattoo, uh, not a visible one. I feel like you keep it uh, you keep it covered. A meaningful tattoo, uh, something that means a lot to you. Uh, some of you have a, a quite youthful looking. I get that. Maybe, maybe a baby face, a round face. Yeah, baby face. 
Someone here could be black or African American. And the other person, okay, well, my spirit guide is saying, yeah, okay, one of you could be Asian as well, but I'm more getting this as the differences between, like the differences between these two people are radical. They look different, they are different, they're different ages, they could be different ethnicities, they're very, very different. So take it as it resonates, guys, as a general reading, it won't be for everyone, but I feel for the majority of you, you'll know that these two people are just radically different, not just in terms of their personalities, but in their looks, maybe even where they're from, you know? One person could be black, the other person could be white. One person could be Asian, the other person could be white, or Caucasian. Um, take it as it resonates, guys. What does this person look like that's coming in for Pisces? Someone has black hair and brown eyes. And one more here. What does this person look like? And someone is mature. Yeah, I, I get that. I get it's this life partner here is the mature one. And the other one could be quite young or more youthful. Okay. That's uh, also a big difference. Now, how else will you recognize... I say this person, but I feel like you've got a choice between two here. Someone goes by a nickname, or you have a nickname for this person. Someone called you the other night. They probably both did. Your paths will cross when a holiday is in season. Now, it could be July 4th. Uh, it could be Memorial Day, or any other kind of holiday in your region that takes place May through July. Um, during the next air sign season, so that would be Gemini, and we do have Gemini energy here coming in. <coughs> so it could be May, June. What else, Spirit? <coughs> How else will Pisces recognize this person when they come in? And I feel that this this new person will be the will ask you out while you're yeah, I think while you're separated by, from this other person, physically or uh, emotionally. Uh, they may see you spending a lot of time at work and not much time at home. So they may, they may say, well, you know, things can't be going too well. You may even have some kind of discussion there in the workplace um, where, you, where you mentioned that you, things are not going so well with your partner and that you're deciding whether to stay or whether to go and this person asks you out, they, they get to up the courage to do that. Yeah. But I don't think that you have a family with this, with this partner. And so for you, you can go. I think if you had a family, I think you'd, you'd have to, you'd be more inclined to stay. But because there's no, no children, I think that you're more inclined to go um, yeah, that's what it's saying at least. So you, you've got a new person coming in here at a time when you're questioning whether or not to stay in a partnership with someone else. It's up to you guys. What you do, of course. Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Pisces next lover, spirit. Pisces next lover. True love. Ooh, okay. Well, you may think that this this new person is your true love, and they do they do seem to be a younger male, uh, your age or slightly younger. Could be female, of course, too. You know, not a gender specific reading. So let's see here, Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about this connection? This new connection that's coming in. Desire, oh boy, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of uh, physical attraction between the two of you. I'm going to leave it there and, and wish you all the very best. I think, um, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting a very romantic kind of uh, energy between you and this new connection. But you are going to have uh, this uh, this older person, this, uh, this partner of yours or... Uh, hmm coming back in here wanting forgiveness wanting to try again saying what's up here oh guys wish you the best at this 
If this isn't your reading today, feel free to check out your other sign placements here on the channel. Thank you once again for all of your likes. Please do press that thumbs up button before you leave. Share me on your social media and if you're a newcomer, I would love to have you subscribe. Thank you so much Pisces. Please do take care and bye for now.